Mel Chemistry Starter Kit. Flames. Flames. We're gonna do some chemistry tin. Flames. Flames on the side of my face. Heap. Hot. Heaving breath. Hey guys, cleaning the table. I don't know I'm what helping. these are, but they look dangerous. All the chemicals are labeled. Why doesn't someone helping. read the instructions? No, no, no. That was clean. Oh. That well, was a clean I'd, rag. Okay. <laughs> Dog. Napkins. So, what are the directions for this? Yeah, I think that broke. Hi, hi. Are you ready? Yes. Big reveal. Ready? Gonna burn some stuff. So these are like chapstick bottles, kind of. Before you start to open bottle. Okay, so it tells Get a close us how up to open of the, the chemical equation. Chemical well, at least equation. if we do this, yes, you once a smart, month. genius, you know what this means. Or um, ninth grade at least chemistry. If we do this uh, once a month with the direction, I mean, with the deliveries, then we'll keep our outside looking clean. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got the direction. No VR glasses. The next clip. Yeah, it says take off the gloves. Uh, Ignite the alcohol. A vial and a light split. We also need a flask, solar fuel stove, and a flame diffuser from a male chemistry starter kit. Prepare some ethanol solution. If you don't have a home, you can also use hard liquid like vodka, gin, or whiskey. Ethanol is very well controlled. Very well managed. Avoid touching the stove during the experiment until it's cooled down completely for a safe experiment. Keep a cup of water nearby. Find some handy. Came with its own little okay, sh flame set thing. of Mel Chemistry subscription. Yeah. Got this instead. Did you do that? Hey! Did you do that? Hey! <laughs> oh, you can't seem mad at that face. Hey! Don't snip it. So I was told to go get vodka. I don't know what it looks like. Wait. Vodka. Okay, I got it. The goggles on. It's okay. Oh, I didn't see that part. <laughs> That's just. Is this the experiment now? Mm hmm. That's just this the vodka is... in it. Are we done? No. Very flammable. When we have to wait for drops to condensate, for drops of condensate to appear okay. in the flask neck. It says like one to two minutes. So when you see like drips in here from it boiling off. So it's boiling right now. And then we light one of these puppies. Flame went out. Flame. The vodka's releasing from liquid to steam, and the steam is Maybe still flammable. Maybe we have to do this one inside. Let's block it with this. Move the camera. But then I can't see anything. Let me get it on the side. You're good. Time Let's lapse. Start. Go. It's not really catching the fire. There you go. There, there we go. go. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Yep. Ready? Did you see it? Yeah, for a second, but we kind of lost <laughs> I said it was going to be like a quick second. Now the it's vodka turned burning. to gas. The poor stick. It's, it's torture. alcohol and then it burns, does it create a new chemical after you burn it? It has a chemical change, right? Sure. So it might have been CO2. And that's now why there's condensation on there. Okay, go ahead. Drop it. I need, I need it. more. There's okay. condensation, but I need more alcohol vapors. There's still alcohol in there, right? Yeah. So you took ethanol, 
and oxygen, and when you added flame, it created carbon dioxide. And water. Three parts H2O, two parts carbon dioxide is what was left in there after you ignited it. Yay. That's what the chemical equation is saying. Catch it? Kind of. <laughs> I'm blind. I'm looking mm -hmm. at it. I wasn't really looking. I was looking at through the camera. Magnesium <laughs> burns really bright. Yeah, look at it through the camera. I'm, I'm seeing spots. It doesn't I'm say look some away. Some spots, because I saw the gas. It didn't say what? Look away. It didn't. I know. I'm like half blind now. Do you have a little more magnesium? Okay, you want to do it again? Let's do it again. Whoa. I dare you to lick it. It smells bad in here. It smells like s'mores. No, it doesn't. Like a burnt yeah. s'mores. S'mores aren't supposed to be too burnt. You're just making it smell more. <laughs> You're supposed to fill a beaker. Things were for science. It's the one thing about how I think I'm a survivor when they do the flint in that magnesium. Yeah. Remember they spit? Mm -hmm. Oh, I did not get me in there. What the heck's going on here? It's stuck. I don't know what, though. I'm so. Come on. How am I supposed to get it in here? 
Wait, put the stick in it. You can unblock it. I can unblock it. Check my wall. Guys, see you all. Bye. Set of milk industry subscription. Y'all need a vial, candle, tweezers, plastic stick, a filter paper, foil, and bottles of copper sulfate solution for this experiment. Take a beaker, a flask, funnel, solar fuel stove from the milk chemistry starter kit. You also need to prepare a bar of soap, some paper towel, and a kettle. The phone next day may only try to avoid any possible dirt. And wear gloves and eye protection for safe experiments. The phone touching the stove if you want to cool down completely during the experiment. To open up the bottle, first push the cap down and turn it, and pierce the film with an unfolded clip. First, fill some soap with knife or grater. We are trying to make candle with the soap. Then fill half a vial with the chopped soap and pour it into the beaker. Then fill the beaker with boiling water up to the upper 100 milliliters mark. Follow the safety precaution when working with boiling water. After about 10 minutes, stir the water for about 1 to 2 minutes until the soap is dissolved completely. Pour two bottles of copper sulfate to the beaker and wait for 2 to 3 minutes. Then start a liquid with a plastic stick. Copper ions emits green lights when added to fuel burning because of its thermic emission spectra. What? Take a piece of filter paper and fold it as shown. And place a hollow on the glass. Sulfate. CU is copper and SO4 is sulfate. Yeah. Copper sulfate. Me fun or cake? Slowly dripping. Mm. Okay, what's interesting is I'm supposed to then put more water in there. Do it five times. But there's the okay, fill the funnel with hot water. All right, I need some hot water. That says five like times, but sand. it's gonna overflow, so I gotta dump some of this. Oh, something's going in there. Wait, it says I have a enough. Whoa, it's green now. It says, you can pour the contents of the flask out. So I think what I'll do is just carefully do this. And let's dump the flask stuff into here. Okay, so we're just going to do that again, guys. So, doo -doo -doo. it or something too. I remember it was like this color blue. So now we're supposed to put this stuff on slow paper now. Light the candle, you just drop the sun in there.
happens if you just drop a bunch into the thing? Candles are really small. Whoa. The mighty stick will now challenge itself going into the slime that's actually kind of solid now. It's just wax. It's green wax. That's, you need to wash your hands, that's the stuff. And don't touch a flame. Green wax. Copper, no, copper sulfate. Wax Ready? It's just like burning it. Yeah, but the flame's green. Yeah. And that's how you make crystal meth. <laughs> that's how you make fireworks, I think. Green fireworks. No, not the poor stick. The brave hero. You put some on the stick, didn't you? Yeah. Whoa. Fireworks. Yes. <laughs> uh, fire alarm. <laughs> yeah, we are. And that's chemistry. Went into the thing. <laughs> Don't drop it in. It went There's into the vodka. Smoke. Now there's. I think all, it got rid. I think of all I the got gas. rid of all the gas already. We can do it again. You want me to light yeah, it again? Let's do it again. Blow that one out. Is it out? Mm -hmm. oh, I dropped it in again. Yeah, it didn't ignite. Oh, there wasn't quite enough vapor. Enough. No. Put out the flame. So the flame is kind of. Ooh, Woo! There was still some.